guys, so we'll look closer to each other. We're going Mookie on the right guys. It's pretty crazy, you know what I mean? Uh, it's just a great opportunity, you know what I mean? Uh, Wes. He's a hard worker, you know what I mean? He loves his brothers, and you can see that, you know, as in them being around each other right now. Uh, you know, this is a brotherhood, and you know, he's a great basketball player. Mookie right here, that smile right this way. Hang on, Mookie, don't go anywhere. Just like Brown, man, I can do it all. I can pass, I can shoot, I can get to the rim, I can defend one through four. All the other boys good, man. Scoot, you know, Scoot's gonna be a top three pick. Like, you know, I mean, realistically, he might be the, you know, he might be the, but he's trying to. I'm, he's at where I want to get. You know what I mean? So it's just an inspiration to be able to be around him, have him as my brother now. So, uh, nah, yeah. Everybody else good though. Khalil, he who, you know, he think he's so good though, bro. But anyways, uh. Caleb, he got a lot better during the film. Got a lot better. You know, he a real full-time actor. Uh, and AJ already hoop. AJ real good. AJ already was hooping before all this. The first time we were here, it was a documentary, and it was based on reality. This one is basically the same, but with a little bit of Hollywood twist, a Hollywood magic, a little bit of tearjerker, making it a little bit more emotional. It's unreal, nostalgic, and... Um, you know, some you had to take yourself out of it and just really just embrace it and enjoy the moment. So it was really awesome just to see it. It was personalizing. You know, um, you know, when you're an athlete or an entertainer, they they tr they try to treat you like you're not a person. Um, you know, they talk about you like your life isn't real. And so this will definitely humanize him and get people to. To see that he's really a person and that he's just like you know, just like the rest of us. Well, actually, you get kind of mad because he's better than me. You know, <laughs> no, no, but he is better than me. He's better than I ever was, and I'm so excited for him because he's a great person. Um, he did a great job portraying me, but he's going to do even better and bigger things in the NBA. Uh, and so I'm just excited that I got the dual threat. Man, God has blessed a young man like me, so I'm just I'm just living in the moment. I'm living in the moment right now. You know, I'm. I'm blessed to be me, and, and I'm blessed to have the people around me that that, that get me that got me to this position. So I'm just having fun with it. There's a lot of pressure, you know, um, Romeo back here. So I'm trying to, you know, let people know who he is as a person, and you know, hopefully, you know, they take it the movie into in consideration of who he really was as, as a person. And you know, it is kind of pressure um, for a lot of people alive. We we're portraying for people alive that right now, so it is pretty tough. But you no, know, I think we did a great job. Clearly, well, he got post game, but he could. He said he think he had big guard, so I'm gonna say he a guard for the for the camp. But uh, me, I'm all around. You know, I do a little bit of everything. Uh, that's why I'm. At, that's why I'm at where I'm at right now. But uh, uh, Mookie, he's an upper rising youngin. He's coming to the game strong. He, he can do a lot too. He bring the ball up six eight. Um, and AJ, man, he tough, tough skill with the ball. Short, not short guard, but really, really crafty guard. And Caleb, you no, know, he's. And they're, you know, getting busy as well. You got a shot, so we trained him, so it was fun. I'm just excited for everybody to know the Fab Five and, and know LeBron's origin story and know his foundation, uh, how he came up as, as from high school, or really from middle school to high school and how, how he dealt with adversity, uh, being, you know, so popular in high school and at a young age and how he dealt with it and, and prospered from it. It's hard to explain, but it was amazing um, walking on set and seeing us as they depicted us as 10 years, 11 years old, um, sharing the same stories, having the same chemistry that, w that we once had, uh, riding in the same minivan that took us everywhere on all the road trips. So it was an awesome experience. I, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. You know, the documentary takes you inside of what our, our story was. Um, and you see a lot of game by game action, but this narrative really explains what our brotherhood is, right? It it really dives into how we connected at a young age, how we we battled through everything through our high school years, and now where we are now, um, you know, having a movie made about us and us still being together, us still being that tight, that close. You always hear about, you know how he's, his chemistry is great with his teammates and his friends, you'll see where 
where it all came from, where it started from. You'll, you'll get why he is who he is today from this movie. It's an honor to just be a part of something that's so great. Um, the story within itself is bigger than basketball and like even just bigger than LeBron's legacy, honestly. Uh, like it's about friendship, support group, you know. He, he, there, he wouldn't be where he's at right now without his support of his friends. So um, this movie is just like a representation of that. I was, I was, I was, I was giving them the work between takes. Uh, uh, yeah, you ask them for yourself. Oh, they're amazing, honestly. I mean, I'm joking, but they're amazing. I mean, Mookie, Scoop, AJ, Khalil. But the real ballers was AJ, Mookie, and Scoop. They're, they're amazing. I learned a lot from them. What it takes to be great, you know, like the discipline and focus. And, um, you know, I also, just to make a joke, like LeBron wasn't like built into like a machine out of like a factory or anything. Like he's a real human being, like he's a person. He worked to where he is now, you know. Uh, it takes a lot of work to be great. 100% I've left with a different level of confidence. Um, going into the film, Drew had to step on the court with a different level of confidence that uh, no one else uh, that no one else had, I feel, uh, you know. Um, with acting, is different. I don't have, really have a competitive nature when it comes to acting. I compete with myself, but uh, with Drew, he had to compete with everybody, and, you know, he had to prove a lot of people wrong. And Willie Avery right here, guys? Willie? Oh. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. Yeah. It's just a blessing to be here, you know, share this memory with the guys. Uh, being able to play Willie, that's just a big time role, so I'm just blessed for it. LeBron's a big deal. He's a great player, and I'm extremely blessed to be in his movie. You know, but it's just not all about LeBron. You know, this is a movie about him, his friends, guys that made a brotherhood to come up. So it's going to be great. Where'd that smile go? And... I feel like I got the best handles, you know. Scoop, he can jump out the gym. Mookie got the best jump shot. You know, Caleb, Caleb can hoop. Caleb and Khalil can hoop, but, you know, they. I feel like I'm the best. But uh, they're going to say Scoop, you know. He's going to the NBA, but I'm going to always say me. Well, the documentary is great, you know, but I feel like a movie um, opens doors that a documentary can't see. So, you know, certain people that weren't mentioned in the documentary, uh, certain things that happened that you guys didn't see. So I just feel like this movie, you know, can show you guys that. It definitely makes it more exciting. The person's alive, but because they're alive, you know, you you you're available to do a disservice to them, you know. So you kind of need to be uh, on point, and um, it's different than a, a film that's not biopic because. You, that pressure not really there. You're just using your imagination the best you can. But, you know, there's a limit to your imagination when the person is real. You need to be authentic to the way they were, which might not have, not, might not be the way you are. And so, um, and then when you're dealing with somebody like LeBron James, he's, he's such a larger than life figure and still alive and actually still young, right? He's very young. He's in his 30s. Like he's, <laughs> come on. It's like, it's unbelievable, right? No, listen, listen. Honestly, they all can really play basketball. Avery, AJ, is unbelievable. No, I mean it. He's unbelievable. He should be pro-bound. Mookie is pro-bound. Three out of, three out of, I mean, Caleb isn't, but that's, that's kind of it. But listen, let me tell you something. Caleb dunked the ball. They shut the set down. Caleb is your height. He dunked the ball. Ten-foot rim. Bong. Boom. Cut. What? Everybody ran the set off. We shut the set down by about 10 minutes. Yeah, it was awesome. So, yeah, they all can play. I hope they walk away with the brotherliness of it, like feeling like, you know, that brotherly love was just there, you know, uh, for young men to feel like, man, I'm, I'm cool with my, my friends and for fathers to feel like, 
I'm, you know, I'm going to turn up my engagement with my kids, you know, be a little bit more um, on point with my kids, you know. I did my best to keep up with this incredible young cast of actors and athletes and uh, was outclassed every step of the way. Uh, it was awfully fun to stand on the sidelines and shout, uh, LeBron, get back, LeBron. So um, it, it, the, the whole, every moment of it, meeting, uh, like I said, these young men and women, uh, just a remarkable experience for me. The most amazing thing about LeBron James is where he came from and how he persevered. And this dude was making history from point A, you know what I mean? So this is an opportunity for people to be inspired. He's been a disciplined kid. He, he saw exactly what was in front of him and he had all the inspiration with him. And he followed it. That's what we want. As a father, that's what I would want my kid to do, you know. Uh, I just don't see the missteps. So he's a shooting star, and this is a testimony to it. When I approached it, like I'm telling the origin story of a superhero. I thought, like, you know, what was Batman doing when he was a kid? What was Superman doing when he was a kid? Then going to Akron, going to his apartments, going to the ball courts that he played on, it started to uh, really reveal itself. And here's a secret I never met LeBron until tonight. Right? <laughs> because I didn't speak to him. I was able to gather my own thought process of who he was then, and it, it, it matched up, it lined up with the kind of man he is right now. I think that the most important thing you can give somebody is inspiration. And um, he does it every day, he's real life. Kids want to be like LeBron, but for many other reasons, once you kind of you know get out of the thought that you're actually going to be a basketball player, He's just an amazing cat. And I think that each one of those guys in this movie, they have a story that's just as important as LeBron's because they, they live a life. Some of them went on to play, play pro ball. Some of them didn't. Some of them became educators. Um, the coach is still at that school trying to win those championships. Uh, he's still married to his wife. Like, this is life. It's the, people say life is short, but you know, there's a long haul connected to this. And I just think, I hope, when I was a kid, I'd walk out of Rocky and I'd go, I'm gonna be a boxer. I hope kids are inspired and they come out going, I just wanna be cool like these dudes, whether you play ball or whatever you wanna do. Caleb surprised me. I worked with Caleb on another project where he had to learn to dance, do choreography. He learned, he was amazing. This, he came to the audition balling. Handles, crazy. And there is a rumor that there's a video of him dunking the ball. Scoot is a monster. He's going to go high in the draft. Mookie's amazing. Basketball IQ, he's going to Oregon. Uh, Khalil's a natural athlete. You know, and AJ is a baller. Baller. And the thing you got to remember is, they're all, most of them, three of them are still seniors in high school. The music was very important to me. Um, I never thought about it, but yeah, I'm just like always surrounded with music. But most importantly, as the film is, I wanted it to be authentic. That was it. Like, what did LeBron and these kids listen to in those years? And I was like doing a lot of videos around that time, and I would just could kind of go back to those years in that era and think about the music and how it was aggressive or how you would get pumped up for a certain you know, if you played ball at all and what the song would be. So I just kind of, you know, went into the archives and pulled it out. Excuse me, lit, cell phone lady. Thank you. Where's, where's the phone? All right. Thank you. All right, all right. Here we go.